Hi, I'm Roland Hernandez with Rock Bats, and we want to do a video here. Uh, the purpose of this video is to explain the importance of hitting on the sweet spot. Now, most folks, when they talk about hitting the sweet spot, they're more interested in how far you're going to hit the ball, how fast the ball comes off the barrel. You know, they're worried about performance, or they're more interested about performance. But what's also very important is that hitting the ball in the sweet, the, hitting the the ball in the sweet spot is also factored into the durability of your bat. You can have a perfect straight grain bat. Wood quality is important, but if you don't hit it near the sweet spot, you might break your bat. So, so the important point here is that wood bats do break. So part of taking care of your bat is don't swing at everything. You just lay off those inside pitches, lay off those outside pitches. With a wood bat, you need to hit near the sweet spot. There are studies that show that Plus or minus even two and three inches puts a lot of stress on your bat. Plus and minus four and five inches puts extreme stress on your bat and you might break your bat, even with great wood. Uh, what I have here is some bats. And as you know, Rock Bats is the only company that tests every model and, and marks the sweet spot on the barrel. In this case, I put stripes. That's not how we label our bats. I'm just showing this for the video. The big thick stripe is the sweet spot of the bat. This, these are softball bats. And I marked one, one inch increments along the barrel, so toward the barrel and toward the hand. If you hit on the sweet spot, and that's the dark, thick line right there, I'm going to take, and this is the bad grain bat, and we got a pipe here. Uh, a ball is a little larger than that, a baseball, but this is a pipe. It's a, not quite a movable object, but it's a hard object. And I'm going to try to hit right on the sweet spot. And again, this is the bad grain bat. So don't analyze my swing, but I'm going to try to hit on the sweet spot right there, and we're going to see what happens to this bat. This is the bad grain bat. Very bad, uh, further than three degrees, uh, nearly five degrees, so that's really bad. Uh, the other thing is it's nice straight grain wood on the, on the grain, but it's that ink spot. That ink spot's very important. So we're going to try this. Try to hit the, the, the sweet spot of the bat. All right, I'll show you pictures close up in the video. I missed it by one inch. There's a big dent here put on that pipe by the pipe. No baseball, remember you're hitting leather baseballs, no baseball is going to put that much dent on your bat, which means I just missed it by one inch and I did not break my bat. So what that means is I put a lot of stress in my bat, but I'm hitting near the sweet spot. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to try to hit further down. Remember I said plus or minus five or six inches, four to five, six inches? That's going to break your bat. So I'm going to hit down here now, and and I'm going to just, just see what happens. I'm going to I'm going to aim high, like I'm going to the fences. I'm going to hit down here. All right. So now, again, I'll show you pictures in the video. The angle of the green, and I drew a line there. I'll show you close-ups. The importance of the sweets or of the of the ink spot is that when you mark the ink and you can see the green. Wood only breaks along the grain, and that angle that's there is the angle that the grain told us. So if you want to pick out a really good bat, you can read the grain, and, and we put an ink spot on every rock bat. It will always follow the grain. Now, that's, that's the kind of wood we avoid. We will never put a rock bat's logo on anything with this severe bad grain. Uh, that barrel over there, which disappeared into the, into the shed, that's the third baseman trying to avoid contact. I mean, that, that's a dangerous bat. So you don't want wood with that kind of, you don't want bats with that kind of wood in it. Alright, this is the good wood bat. Um, not 
zero degrees, but but it's about one degree approximately. And again, if you hit on the sweet spot, I'm gonna try to hit it right there. I'm gonna try to hit it right there. And again, don't analyze my swing. And that hurt. Uh, I actually missed that by about an inch and three quarters, not quite two inches. Again, I'll show you pictures of that. Uh, that still hurts. Don't try this at home. Uh, but I'm gonna try to hit it down here. This is minus six inches into the hands. I'm not gonna hit it there because that will really hurt, I guarantee you. I'm gonna try to go here. Uh, six inches, that's a jam shot. Logos are usually about here. You hit the logo, you're doing what I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna try to hit it right about there. Ready? So again, don't analyze my swing. All right, I hit it, I hit it minus six inches, and that did not break, so uh, I'm gonna try this again. I've hit it twice. All right, I'm gonna go down here now. Let's go severe. All right, that was very severe. That was probably 10 inches, maybe 11 inches away. That's a brash failure. Um, wood can break in so many ways. Uh, the number one indicator that there was bad wood is that oval shaped uh, break that I show on the website a lot. Uh, rupture is a good is a good break, believe it or not. Uh, you hit away from the sweet spot and you got straight grain wood. It's going to rupture and crack. You hit it that far away from the from the from the sweet spot, and that's called a brash failure. And there's 99 types of other breaks that will, that will, types of breaks that will indicate decent wood, good wood. Only one type of break will indicate very bad wood, and that's when you see that severe angle and oval shape. Usually here we're hitting a pipe, that's why it's a little different. But oval shape, severe breaks, that's a no-no. There's so many types of other breaks that indicates good wood and. The number one point out of all of this, wood bats break, and if you have good wood, you will not get this. You cannot get this, because it only breaks along the grain, or it ruptures, brash like this. This is actually a brash failure. So the only thing that breaks bats is hitting away from the sweet spot. The only thing that breaks bats is hitting away from the sweet spot, and it's the type of break that's important to look at when a bat breaks.